There's a reason this program has been a staple of Monday nights for over 25 years. It is entertainment. It is excitement. It is Monday Night Raw. And tonight, I got a feeling we're going to see something we have never seen before on Monday. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. It'll be Team Dash Wilder. Against Brazongo. I cannot wait. Tag team action. And from behind! Oh, come on! They're trying to screw him before this match even begins. You can't be surprised. This is what needs to be done to make an impact in the tag team division. And there's no way that this team is going to be ready to go here. And the other guys are still outside screaming at him. And they love this. Of course they love it. They're the ones left standing. Referee ought to just call this one. Yeah, I agree. Since Fandango's favorite partner is himself, it'll be a challenge for this pair to gel. But if they do, they'll definitely be a dangerous duo. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. Members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. a point that people have been talking about for years and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Braves in defensive mode right now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. He wants no part of the outside. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. Lariat. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, alley -oop power bomb. That might be it. Little misstep by Fandango. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Boom, right across the small of the back. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, no. Fandango with the spinning heel kick. Nice, shut it down. 
We know what's coming here. No question, he's found a burst. Oh. Look at that. Ziggler with the famous serve. Wow, what a move. Dolph Ziggler's going. There it is. The zigzag. Can he finish the jump? Cover here. And he breaks up the pinfall. And the instinct from Fondango on display. And there's Tyler Breeze in off the tag. What a stop. Good grief. Ziggler turns it around. You've got to believe this one's over. Dash Wilder tags in. What a strike right on the mark. Float over. Oh. And do it. Nobody ever accused Fandango of being shot. You better be careful here. Now it's Dash Wilder on his heels. Oh, Heading into this match, he and his partner looked extremely confident. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try oh. to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. And there's the tag. Dolph Ziggler into the ring. Inside the ring now. Look out, Tyler Breeze is measuring. Oh, Tyler Breeze may have it. And Breeze says, not this time. And the refs break this one up. Great ring awareness there, Michael. When a superstar is in a tag team match, he looks for it. Super kick! Oh, oh, it's over. And it's Dolph Ziggler with the reversal. And off the tag is Dash Wilder. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is... That's Wilder has him up. Back break. Corey, that looked familiar. He's back in control here. Forcefully delivered. He has him right where he wants him. That's what the code breaker. It is going to be difficult for Tyler Breeze to bounce back from that. Nobody gets up from a takedown like that. Dash Wilder is going for the road. This one might be it. Oh, my. No, he's starting to get heated. Guys, there's a very good chance. He's looking at it. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Oh, bell crack. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Beautiful technique. I think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Interesting decision here, Corey. And I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Now back to the ring. Atomic drop! In comes Dolph Ziggler. The longer this fight goes on, the more gear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Turbo finds its mark. What a stop. Good grief. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
Look at that. Ziggler with the famous arm. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Ziggler tuning up the band. Boom! Good night. Sweet chin music. But can he follow up here? He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Two, three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. He's getting it done here. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. No doubt about it, he brought his A game as you can see here. Here are your winners, Dash Wilder and Dolph Ziggler. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. I hope you set your DVRs, folks, because that match is worth going back and watching again. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next versus a formidable opponent. Who will reign supreme? Mojo's here, and he's all business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Crawley. No more of that getting hyped stuff. Once upon a time, Mojo enjoyed the distinct honor of being my least favorite superstar on the NXT roster. My, how times have changed with Mojo's attitude. Listen, honestly, I, I miss the guy who was hyped, who had a good time, but you can't ignore the fact that the more aggressive Mojo has had more success. Fire in it. He's This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude, a revamped appearance. And his opponent, from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Oh! Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. 
Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take. Mojo Rawley is confident and full of energy. A dangerous combo for any opponent in the ring tonight. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Mojo Rawley has traded in staying hype with staying angry. And the results, well, they've been impressive. No, it doesn't really matter what his catchphrase is now. He's all about relentless offense. He's got him covered. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Yeah, this early, no chance. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Chosen One. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Oh, and that's the impact. Takes him down in a major way, too. And there's a kick out at one. Too soon. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. He's making a statement here with this attack. Jeez. Back in the ring again. Whoa, Raleigh really dodged that one. It's so quick for a man of his size. McIntyre really needs to dig down deep and fast. We're going to hyperdrive. This could be the turning point. This is Mojo Raleigh's chance. Cover, cover. One, two, three. Yes, takes it. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Look at him go. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Check him out here.
And finally, Here is your winner, Mojo Rawley. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it. Making her way to the ring from San Diego, California, the Raw Women's Champion, Nia Jax. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. is just as unique as her offensive playbook. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. WWE Hall of Famer Booker T discovered Ember Moon, and when I asked uh, Booker what it was about Ember that attracted him, him to her, he said, she's good. She has <laughs> proven to be good. An NXT Women's Champion in the past, certainly a future Women's Champion on Raw or SmackDown Live, the Sheena... As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. What a stomp! Good grief! This is not good at all. The pen oh man, backbreaker! <laughs> oh man! Nailed it! Boom! <laughs> Back of the neck. 
Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Here's a cover. And she kicks out with relative ease. She's still in this one. What a strike. She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Too soon. Watching Ember Moon the past few years, Corey, one thing I've learned is that her drive to succeed may be unmatched. I don't disagree, Cole, and it's that drive that makes her so hard to defeat and nearly impossible to game plan for. How do you prepare for a woman who refuses to lose? DDT! Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. As Corey mentioned, preparing for Ember is not easy, especially given that she has no quit in her. But that said, Byron, perhaps replicating what Shayna Baszler did to Ember at TakeOver New Orleans would be a good approach. Well, as vicious as it may sound, if Ember refuses to quit, you might have no other choice than to render her unconscious, much like Shayna did. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Looks like she wants the win early. And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. What a kick out. Nia Jax, the irresistible forces in action here. As her name, she's looking at it. And Ember Moon, too quick. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it. That was impressive. Uh-oh. Breaker. Oh man, she's rolling now. Going back to the disc, Nia Jax. Oh, Nia Jax and a leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back. She goes for the quick pin. One, two. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Wow. I see where she's going with this. Great power. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. That has got to be it. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. One, two, three. Yes. Unreal performance. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. This was another great moment. That's a woman on a mission. Oh, I can't believe this. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner, Maya Jack. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.
pure gold. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 232 pounds, Gold Ducks! Erratic, strange, what an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. of three better representatives to stand for 1.3 billion people in the country of India than Jinder Mahal and Samir and Sunil Singh. He's a former WWE champion. Absolutely incredible athlete, physical specimen. He's gotten himself in the best shape of his life in his career. No question about it. A man who has transformed himself in every sense of the word in Jinder Mahal. And those Singh brothers, well, that's another story. Their story is one of loyalty, of servitude, of pride. And to also one of... Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Beautiful. Head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. He's taking some offense. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. And he's heading back in. No one knows why Goldust does the things he does. Those details are probably better left off being a mystery. But we will all remember the name Goldust. Hey, let's face it. I don't think we have much choice. You don't mess up the back of your neck. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. 
Gold Goldust has the shoulders down early. Mahal gets the shoulder up. So resourceful. Too quick for him there. Only two men in WWE history can lay claim to overcoming a Money in the Bank cash-in. One is John Cena, and the other is the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. In the same week that Mahal defeated Shinsuke Nakamura at SummerSlam, Mahal also managed to pin a distracted Baron Corbin in just seven seconds to retain his WWE Championship. Goldust has the shoulders down early, and a kick out, not even close on that. The Maharaja refusing to stay down. I'm gonna resume Jinder's Money in the Bank transaction. It's tough being a first-time champion, but that briefcase looming has to make it even harder. Mahal got a lot of weight off his shoulders with a roll-up victory over Corbin. I called that quote-unquote match between Jinder Mahal and Baron Corbin, and it has to go down as one of the most shocking Money in the Bank moments of all time. Mahal certainly won't forget it, and Corbin probably wishes he could. Cross the shoulders, up and oh, gut buster! Evisceration. Going for broke. Oh, what impact. Here's the cover. Two, three. Jinder Mahal with the victory. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. He ain't playing here. He's getting after it here. He really put on a great show. to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. You know, I once asked Baron Corbin, what makes you happy? What drives you? He told me two things. Getting under people's skin and exposing them to their worst fears. Making his way to the ring. From Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. 
former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. The monster among men is here! And his opponents, first, weighing in at 385 pounds, The earth is trembling with each step. Strowman's an absolute force of nature. Terrifyingly powerful. Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't want to run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things slightly differently. I was there, too. But someone is going to get these hands. Monday Night Raw. Welcome to Balor Club. Superstar the world over, Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger, and more dangerous every single week in WWE. A truly global superstar, a phenomenon amongst the WWE Universe. Finn Balor posted on social media earlier today that Balor Club is for everyone. This kid's the real and deal. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in Woo! at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. Hey, Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT SmackDown and Raw Tag Team titles? Huh, I know, Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. He read it off my notes. Fair point. Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment you that broke was. the news. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. Nicole, I can very easily see any one of these four participants winning this thing. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Beautiful technique. Easy. 
easy kick out there. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. What a sidewalk slam. Uh, he is finished. Set him up. Braun Strowman faltering something. He's going to have to be careful. Three guys he's in there with want this match just as much as he does. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Finn Balor has competed around the world under several names. Why he chose his moniker in WWE speaks to who he is the most, Corey. That's right. Ripped out of the pages of Irish mythology, Finn McCool is a hero who battled the evil one-eyed demon king known as Balor. It's a story Finn always uses as a source of power. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Guys, there's more to Finn Balor's name than what Corey brought up. Finn's name is also a tribute to his dad, Finn, who taught his son what it meant to have tireless work ethic. Certainly paying tribute to your father and demon slayers is more fitting for Finn these days than, say, being called Prince or something. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Strowman slamming into the mat. You gotta believe this one's over. Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the power. Oh, hellacious power slam. The Irishman has it. Roman Strong is going for it early. Oh, close line. Big trouble for Finn Balor. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> Braun Strowman can't be enjoying this. Wow, Braun Strowman is being controlled. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, what to the gut? Took the wind right out of you. Stop it. What's coming next? Taking their time. Nailed it. It is clear Finn Balor is feeling the pure brutality of this fight. At this point, I don't think I like his chances of winning this four-way match. This is all but over. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again. Right now. Shoulder blades. Oh, his feet are on the ropes. His feet are on the ropes. I expected as much from him tonight. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. The Balor draw is willing Finn Balor to continue this fight. A gutsy battle for sure. Oh, guys, there's the mat slam with some attitude.
harsh impact. Big elbow. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Ron Strowman is going to have to revise his game plan because right now, the one he's using ain't working. He may be the end of the line for him here in this fatal four-way match. decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Oh, and he reverses it. And a massive belly to belly. Good grief. Man, what a slam. He wants it one more time. Gentlemen, get after it. Here are the highlights. Remember this? Man, oh man, look at that. Check this out. Ain't nothing better than action like this. Here is your winner, Jason. And that's the win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. 
Stay tuned for more great action. Freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. entrance Bobby Roode has even more amazing tricks with his technical wrestling skills and man I never get tired of watching these guys compete Bobby Roode looking good tonight truly worthy of the expensive oh. robes he wears to the ring I can't believe I'm agreeing with a guy who shops at Suit City but if these were fashion competitions his opponents would have already lost Oh man, right 
to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That's how you wear down your opponent. Could have a stiff neck for a while. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Oh, what impact. some trouble here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This is exactly the opening his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. He's stomping away. Bobby Roode might get an early three count. To be a success at this level, gentlemen, you have to believe in yourself. And when I look at Bobby Roode, I see a superstar who simply oozes confidence. He's stumbling some now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. That confidence he oh, to the back of the neck. Look at this. One, two, and a kick out. Wow. As Corey noted, Root is a guy who thinks quite highly of himself. But Byron, some might say his level of confidence is bordering on arrogance. Yeah, but when you look at the hit list of top names he's defeated, I'd say Bobby Root has a reason to be a little extra confident. Oh, moonsault. Incredible agility. Guy's not sure how much more Bobby Root can take. We're finding out. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm seriously cons- His shoulders are down. There's the kick out. He needs to change something fast, guys. When this guy's on, look out. Hooked up. Oh, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Oh, and he reverses it. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Oh, going right 
for the neck. Seth Rollins got out of there in the nick of time. They should count his lucky stars. On he dodges out of the way. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. Not today. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, what's up? Inside the ring now. Boom, what impact. Here we go. Seth Rollins. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, the architect is rolling now. Seth Rollins. Oh, super kick. He goes for the cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Wow, I am impressed. What a knee strike from the Kingslayer. The cover. One, two, three. Yes! Takes it! Let's take another look at these guys in action. Man, this was great. Almost forgot about this one. Who could forget this? And I always enjoy watching him perform. win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another.
this is, it's time to play the game. Listen to this place. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. The game. It's all about Triple the game and a. how you play it. And nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the cerebral assassin, the sadistic son-in-law, the chairman of WWE. So many incredible moments created by this man and etched in history. If there is one thing we have learned about Triple H, he will do anything and everything to advance his career. The man has main evented seven WrestleManias and continues to grow his legend in WWE. From the midnight workouts to the endless dieting, Triple H prides himself on always being ready. I just hope Triple H's opponent tonight is as mentally tough as they think they are because the Cerebral Assassin is at the top of the game. When a man is in the throes of battle against Triple H, they need to remember that he can brandish his trusty sledgehammer at any time. It's just another reason why he's known by the moniker, The Game. Also, the cerebral assassin and the King of Kings. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. The King of Kings, Triple H, is looking as imposing tonight oh. than at any point during his dominant 20 year reign. You know, normally I'd accuse you of kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. We see Triple H with some reason for concern. He needs to create some space and find a way oh, to get man. back on the offensive. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Oh, man. Especially considering who he's in the ring with. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's going for the pin. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Uh-uh. And look at the quickness by Cena. Really working over the body. John Cena makes the cut. This one's far from over. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. And that one grounds him. 
I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Oh. <laughs> Got the shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up before three. Just needs to do more damage. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Cover, can he do it? And you can put this singles match in the books. Now let's look back at that amazing action. He ain't messing around. I remember this part very well. Man, this was great. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, the game, Triple H. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.